whatsoever problem we are facing. It is not the end. Hello friends, this is Yundel. And today's share is a reminder to each and everyone that whatsoever problem challenges we are facing it is not the end you have to claim the promises in the scripture what is written there because in my spiritual lifestyle which i am sharing with you every day the scripture is my tool i can use to comfort me when things seem so very difficult. When things seem so hopeless, I have to read the scripture. I have to comfort myself that I am not alone. I have to comfort myself that with all these things, I will survive and all will be well with me. Yes, I am sharing with you my spiritual practice. And why is that? I live here in a foreign country alone and life seems so hopeless. Many times it seems so very, very difficult. But when things are so difficult, I have to claim the promises what is written in the scripture. Because God says, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Even if things is so dark and you are at the end of your patience, you are at the end that it seems so hopeless that you cannot solve it. Pause for a moment. With God, everything is possible. With God, your life is not hopeless. You can look back in history and see that never once did God desert his people and he won't desert you either. Jesus loves you more than you could possibly know. And no matter how discouraged or broken you feel, Jesus is there to lift you up and comfort you in his arms of love. He is your hope. So claim God's promises in Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand, right hand. These promises is very clear in the scripture what he has promised he will do. As it says in Jer Isaiah 51 11, so the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Yes, we can claim what is written in the scripture because that can comfort us, that can give us hope. As it says in Psalms 147.3, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wound. In Joshua 1.19, it says, Have I commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go all these promises in the scripture we have to claim it and believe that god what he has said he will do what he has promised he will fulfill but it needs your faith it needs your belief simply believe in him because no matter what we are struggling right now when I can claim the promises in the scripture, it really helps me to be motivated, to be inspired even I am struggling. Yes, life can be so very difficult. 
but I look up upon him because he said he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Yes, when I am brokenhearted, I have to come unto him. You must feel free to talk about it all to him. Talk to him, be with him, and trust that he is working in your behalf for what he has promised he will fulfill you have to comfort yourself that god says in the scripture in the book of joshua be strong and of good courage do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go all we have to do is to come unto him talk with him feel free to talk with him all your troubles all your anxiety depressions problems and challenges just get your strength from god for what he has said he will fulfill fear not for i am with you be not be dismayed for i am your god I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is my share with you today. This is Shundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. I love you all and bye-bye.